Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our next lecture and video from this series on how to use MailerLite, the email marketing uh, service. Uh, now we are at the first feature that I wanted to show you and the most important probably out of all of them because it's uh, in a direct relationship with building your list. Okay, and we will talk about the subscribers uh, features of uh, MailerLite. So as you can see here, we are in the dashboard and we have an upper menu okay just under our browser bar and here the practically the middle option will be the subscribers option now i will show you exactly how you can create a new list how to browse for for, for your subscribers how to import a list if you have a list to import and so on let's go and press uh, the option subscribers so practically uh, on uh, MailerLite, in order, for example, to create a new web form, you need to link it to a subscriber group. So you will have different subscribers group. OK, as you can see here, I have uh, three groups uh, from which one I actually used. OK, and uh, for example, if we want to, uh, to create a new group, we will just go to add a new group option here. We will have a top uh, left uh, corner button and we press add a new group test one for example and we create the new group okay and that's as easy as it can get so you will have here some statistics okay uh, how many subscribers opened how many clicked and so on some overall statistics for your lists and then you'll have some options from here okay you'll have the option to uh, change the group name or split the group you will have the, uh, the option to add new subscribers and if we press the option to add new subscribers okay you will either uh, have to drag and drop a ccv or text file with your subscribers here okay uh, and this is practically the function for import because as you can see here in this menu you have the option to import from a ccv or text file okay you upload the file here and then you press the button import and it will import them automatically you can copy paste from excel if you have a list from Excel or you can add a single subscriber okay by hand if you have any now let's go back to the subscriber section and have a look through our list you just press on the list and then you can see which are the active subscribers the details okay emails uh, when they have subscribed to your email address how many emails they have opened if they have opened or uh, how many emails they have clicked if they have clicked okay I've used this list for an autoresponder sequence that I have created and that's why you can see that every single subscribers from, subscriber from this list has uh, seven emails from me. Okay, some of them have opened them, some of them have even clicked on them. Okay, there are also others that have taken absolutely no action, it's normal. Then you also have an option here to export as CCV or CCV for Excel your list. Okay, you can also see exactly the stats uh, on different uh, filters if you want to apply okay like the name uh, opened who opened who clicked who is subscribed okay and other options filters that you can apply if you want so it's pretty simple then you can see here you have other options okay for this list like group stats you can go to see group steps okay which is the average open rate the average click through rate the average subscribe rate and the average unsubscribe rate for your list okay so subscriber engagement, reading environment, uh, practically this is a very cool statistic because you can see uh, which are practically uh, opening their emails from their computers or from them, their mobile and in the future you can know how to optimize your campaigns. Okay, you can see subscriber engagement. Okay, you can see top domains that uh, have been used in your list. Okay, top email clients. So you have some pretty nice statistics that you can use in your advantage. Then you can see if you have segments, so all subscribers and never opened. And you also have custom fields if you have added any custom fields which we haven't added to this list, okay? Uh, then you will have again the options for your subscribers, okay? To change the group name, to split the group or to delete the group. And that's about it. These are the options that you have for your list which are more than enough in my opinion to run efficient campaigns and to know how to optimize them because of the group stats. So thank you very much uh, guys for your attention. I hope this was uh, helpful for you and I am looking forward to see you in our next video and lecture. Bye bye for now. Sorry.